here YouTube, Maxfile2708 here. Um, again, no post today, so thought I'd um, I'd post a, a collection video for you. Um, so the first one of um, of my collection videos is going to be for the Sony PSP. So this is the PSP 3000 here that uh, that I brought a couple of weeks ago. Um, as you can see, or as it was advertised, it's scarlet red. Um, not too sure, what do you think? My little boy who's only four years old says, Daddy, why have you got a pink PSP? So uh, feel free to leave your comments and, uh, and let me know. So let's, uh, let's have a look at some games. Okay, first of all, we have uh, Super Monkey Ball Adventure. Uh, the first few games that I'm going to show you on here, um, I've not actually got around to playing yet, but um, I have had a look on reviews online and uh, on Retro Gamer Forum, etc. And uh, been told they're pretty good games to get. So, uh, yep, Super Monkey Ball Adventure, number one. Next, Metal Gear Acid, uh, from uh, one of Super Dan's favourite places, uh, from uh, Granger Games. So, pre-owned price £5, Billy Bargain. Uh, I've played some of the Metal Gear um, Solid games before, thoroughly enjoyed them. Nice, uh, nice and tactical games, etc. So, figured I'd give this one a try. Next on the list, again, big orange sticker. Everybody, uh, Blockbusters, 4 for £20, £7.95. So, figured... Again, they get good reviews online. The uh, the Ratchet Ratchet and Clank games. So, uh, figured uh, figured I'd give that one a try. Again, Ratchet and Clank size matters. Uh, this was one that um, still sealed, but it was uh, pre-owned in game for four ninety nine. I think it was. So, again, figured I'd give that one a try. Looks pretty good from the back. Next one is um, Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition. That's the one that I got free with the PSP 3000. Um, brought it from game, so I got the, the reward points, etc. So, you know, give it a go. I quite like my racing, racing games, so see what that one's like. Uh, next one on the list is uh, Gottlieb Pinball Classics. Um, always been a fan of the, the pinball games, so... I uh, used to love games like Pinball Dreams, etc. on the uh, on the Amiga, so figured I'd get myself a bit of um, pinball action on the uh, on the PSP. Oh, what have you got next? Next one, Mercury Meltdown. Uh, again, another cheapy one, as most of the games on the PSP are, which uh, which was another reason why uh, why I picked it up. Um, yep, Mercury Meltdown, um, puzzle game. Um, absolutely does your head in sometimes, but um, yeah, played a few levels on that one. It's pretty good, so recommend giving that one a try if you haven't already played it. Next one, playing on this one for quite a bit last night actually. Very, very good game. I think it's um, one of Super Dan 88's recommendations. Daxter, uh, excellent cartoon platform game. Um, brilliant graphics and uh, really good gameplay so yep another good one. Uh, next one probably one of my favourites on the PSP that's Killzone Liberation um, absolutely fantastic game really really into this one at the minute um, great graphics great gameplay um, some very very difficult levels at time but um, absolute quality game next uh, that's what we got here Wipeout Pulse um, absolutely fantastic game great for multiplayer action um, back in the days when they were first released in um, in America um, I had one of the uh, the PSP 1000 series um, and my mate had one as well so we used to uh, get together with a couple of the engineers at work etc over lunchtime and play multiplayer across the whole of the big open plan office and it's extremely addictive really really good game um, as I say the one that I had originally was Wipeout Pure this is the next one on the list which is um, Wipeout Pulse so 
get yourself some of that if you haven't already got it. Absolutely quality game. Uh, two more left. So, as I say, I've only had the PSP for a couple of weeks now. So this is the the little collection that um, I've collected over yeah over the last couple of weeks. So, uh, as I keep saying in all my videos, time to slow down a little bit and. Uh, yeah, I've got more packages coming this week, so... <laughs> uh, next on the list, this is the game that I'm really, really into at the minute. Uh, Manhunt 2. Um, this is getting pretty much the majority of my gameplay, so... Uh, extremely gruesome, gory game, uh, very intense. Uh, I think on the, the start of the game it says uh, recommended to play with, uh, with headphones on, cause, because it really does... Uh, draw you into the atmosphere, etc. Um, in incredibly gruesome. It's got an 18 rating on it. Lots of uh, lots of blood and gore, and uh, some pretty freaky ways that uh, that the main guy goes around uh, killing people, suff um, suffocating them with um, with plastic bags over the head, etc. So, uh, yep, get to my thumbs up. Very good. And last on the list, not normally my sort of game, uh, Madden NFL 09. Um, I don't really follow American, well, I've, never, I've followed American football back in the 80s, I think, when um, the LA Rams was my team. Uh, but that was when I was living at home, probably, you know, 15 years ago, something like that. So, um, you, you don't really need to know a lot of... Uh, about the rules of American football or anything, thankfully, because it just it just goes completely over my head. Um, but yeah, I popped this one in last night for the first time to uh, to give it a go, and uh, I thought, yeah, it's, it's not too bad. I gave it an hour or so last night, and you know the um, the plays can be suggested by uh, the man Madden himself. So um, you know you can just let him pick the plays, and then you carry them out. So again, nine ninety eight for that one. So figured it wasn't. Um, you know, was worth the purchase. So that's uh, that's pretty much it on my uh, my PSP collection. Um, I've not got anything uh, due PSP wise this week, apart from potentially next week. I've ordered a um, a TV out cable. Um, Super Dan eighty eight showed it running on um, on his channel the other day. Um, so I had a look on eBay, managed to pick one up for uh, two pounds seventeen delivered. So figured I could show um, show some gameplay videos as well. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it from me. And uh, feel free to leave any comments. Uh, I'd especially like to know, as I say, if, uh, if you guys think this is actually red, as, uh, as suggested on the box, or if it is indeed false advertising by Sony, and you believe it's pink, as my little boy says. So, uh, leave some comments. Always uh, look to reply to them where I can, and I'll uh, post another video shortly. Okay, cheers for now.